nations of the earth now rejoice. All the nations of the earth now rejoice. All the people of God sing His praise. All the people of God sing His praise. Everything that had breath shout for joy. Everything that had breath shout for joy. Cause everything that is beautiful belongs to you. for watching our weekly broadcast with the House of Christ. I'm Dr. Geraldine Rush and I just want to encourage you to catch us each Friday at 11 a.m. here on Channel 17 and you'll be so glad that you did. And if you would like to catch us on Facebook Live, we broadcast our sermon every Sunday between 1045 and 11 a.m. So just send a message uh, to become a friend and you can watch us on Facebook Live. God bless you. Continue to grow in Christ. John chapter 21, verses 15 through 17. So when they had dined, Jesus said to Simon Peter, son of Jonas, Loveth thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knoweth that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said to him again, the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, loveth thou me? He said to him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said to him, Feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, loveth thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Loveth thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus said unto him, Feed my sheep. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Father God, we thank you right now, O oh God, and we bless your name. Father God, it is I standing in the need of prayer. Yes. And Lord God, I ask that you bring those things to my remembrance, O oh God, that you would have me to share with your people on today. Father God, I give you all the glory and honor. God, but it is I standing in the need of prayer. So, Father God, I just ask that you just open up your, your presence in this place, O oh God. Let us feel you as never before. Help me to preach your word, God, with vigor and with might and with power, God. Lord God, I just thank you right now for what you're doing in the lives of the believers. And we give you all the glory. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And thank Amen. God. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 To God be the glory. Amen. Well, just for a few moments on today, I want to preach from a theme. Glory to God. Being restored. Being restored. Being restored. Glory to God. Amen. Being restored. One thing that the Holy Spirit does in our lives is what? Make us aware of when we sin. Come on, somebody. Amen. And when we sin, we become what? Broken. Some of us to the point that we don't feel like we can recover from the fall. Hmm. It does. Here in our scripture today, Peter is broken. Mm -hmm. Amen. But, but you know what? Peter don't know he's broken. Mm -hmm. That's what a lot of times we are broken. Everybody else can see it. Mm -hmm. But you don't realize it. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Amen. He had not picked up the mantle that had been given to him in Matthew 10, 5 through 8. It said, these 12 Jesus sent out with the following instructions. He said, do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town in Samaritan. But what? But go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. Come on now. As you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven is, has come near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons, and freely you have received, freely give. Amen. Now God had given him that command just a little earlier. Amen, somebody. Amen. Now Peter is sitting around remembering what he had done. 
But he's only remembering, come on, his denying Jesus before he went to the cross. Amen. 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 Glory to God. He, he's feeling not worthy to preach the gospel. Amen. 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 You know, as soon as we do something that's outside of God's will, Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. As soon as we do it, we, we know we have sinned. And then here comes a saint right behind you. And they will tell, they'll ask you to do something for the Lord. Come on. And what do you do? You, you'll say, no, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do it today. Mm -hmm. uh, get somebody else because what? You don't feel worthy. That's right. That's exactly what we do. We don't, we don't feel worthy. Glory to God. But don't you know when God calls us to a position and to a purpose, mm -hmm. it comes without repentance. Come on. Right. He don't take it back. Yeah. Amen, somebody. But, what, but, but we don't feel worthy to do that. Here Peter is not feeling worthy to feed the sheep. Amen. Glory to God. On Saturday, glory to God, I taught a class on the gifts and the callings of God. What God has called us to do is not what revocable. Come on, somebody. Meaning Jesus does not take back or change his mind about what he has purposed in our heart. Mm -hmm. He don't change it. He don't take it back. Whether you walk in your calling or not, it's still there. Right. Amen, somebody. It's still there. We must pick up the mantle. Be trained and walk in our calling. Right. Amen. And a lot of people talk about, well, you know, if God called me, that's enough. The devil is a lie. That's right. He has called you, but you still need to be trained. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's called you, but you need to be equipped. Glory to God. Yeah. Amen. And when we're not trained and equipped, we do, we do what? More harm than good. Mm -hmm. Come on, because this flesh hasn't been trained to sit down. Yeah. And we right. still want to glorify flesh and not glorify God. Come on, somebody. I'm just, I'm just going to be honest today. Peter remembered that when he, he should have stood up, he fell down. Uh -huh. That's right. Come on. Amen. And, and we all will fall. Come on. Yeah. Come Amen. on. We all going to fall now. I'm just going to tell you. There's no, there's no perfect person here. That was Jesus. Come on. Mm -hmm. Amen. But it is up to you to determine how far. That's right. Come on. I believe falling is in our nature. It keeps us what humble. It does. You know that? Paul put it this way. When I wanted to do good, what evil was present in air on every hand. Mm -hmm. We must practice doing right. Come on, somebody. Because it is the right thing to do. Yeah. Not when we want to do it. Uh, 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 you know, uh, when it suits us, but righteousness is supposed to be our character. Come on. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory to God. Proverbs 24 and 16 put it this way. For though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. We go fall. Come on. Amen. You need to realize that you need to get back up mm -hmm. and do what God has called you to do. Amen. And know that, you know what? You're not perfect. Mm hmm you're not perfect. Glory to God. Just like Peter, when uh, we run into opposition, we stop doing what God has called us to do. However, thank God for Jesus because through the Holy Spirit, it nudges us. Come on. It nudges us to do right. Just right. like he does Peter in this text. That's right. Amen, somebody. Many times we talk a good game, but as soon as something comes up, we change our mind. Mm -hmm. Amen. We change our mind. Or we put Jesus on the back burner, or we start, what, doubting our faith. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen, somebody. So I ask you, what happened? Who changed the narrative in our lives? We did... Jesus did. Come on. We did. Jesus did. Keep Jesus first in your life. Pray always. Keep him on your mind. Come on, somebody. When you do, he doesn't let other things in. Amen, somebody. Jesus knew Peter's heart. So he questioned his love for him. Amen. Here in our text, Jesus asked Peter a series of questions. Amen. Amen. He did. He, he, Jesus know how to just give us a, just a gentle nudge. Amen. 
He knows how to just uh, put it where we can understand it. He don't bust us out in public. Amen. No. He just speaks to our heart. And what does he say? He'll say stuff like, as soon as you break bad on him, he'll say, now you know that wasn't right. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. yeah. He didn't tell everybody about what you did. Right. He didn't even tell somebody else to come over and tell you. Don't right. think he can't tell somebody else right. to do it. Right. Yes, he can. Come on. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Because yeah. every once in a while when we just act too bad, mm -hmm. the person across will come over and say, now you know. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You know, that wasn't, that, that wasn't good. Amen. You don't want to hear that. You'll even walk out, walk <laughs> off. Come on. <laughs> You see, I'm telling you. So Jesus tries to talk to us first and get our attention. And when he does it, come on now. He'll, he'll, just, he'll just hit a saint and let them come over and tell you mm -hmm. about what they saw. Amen. Glory to God. Here in verse 15, the scripture says that when he had finished eating, Jesus said to Simon, Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Now, you know it's just like anybody else. When our folks want to get our attention, what do they do? They call our full name. That's right. Simon Peter. Mm -hmm. Amen. And here Jesus mm -hmm. takes it a step further. But this is normally scripture. They would mention the, the parents. Mm -hmm. Simon, son of John. Yeah. Okay, so Peter knew he was called front and center. Mm -hmm. Right. Amen. Glory to God. He knew that he was he that Jesus was speaking to him, mm -hmm. and he wanted to get his attention. This wasn't just a little converse, back room conversation. Yeah. He got John's, he got Simon's, uh, Peter's attention. Peter and Christ had what a special relationship. Mm -hmm. You want to have a special relationship with Jesus? Mm -hmm. Amen. It just shouldn't be a casual. It should be a special relationship. He always professed what? His love and devotion for Christ. That's what, that's what Peter always did. Mm -hmm. Peter was, you know, there's a lot of things here. Peter was the first to trust, believe, and obey Christ. He was. Mm -hmm. He was. Peter had a heart to please Jesus. Amen. He was a man of many first. Mm -hmm. You want to know how many first? Peter was the first disciple Jesus called. Amen. And his brother. Come on. Mm -hmm. At, at Peter's house, and here you go, Jesus was going to see, it was, would go over to Peter's house. Mm -hmm. Jesus healed Peter's mother. Come on. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Peter got out of the boat and walked on water. Mm -hmm. Nobody else got out of the boat, but Peter did. Come on. These are some first things that Peter did. Peter was the first disciple to confess that Jesus was the Christ. Mm -hmm. He did. The son of the living God. This was Peter. Peter uh, Jesus took Peter, James, and John to the Mount of Configure, what, Transfiguration mm -hmm. to behold Moses and Elijah talking to Jesus. I mean, Peter was a Peter was in this inner circle. Come on. Mm -hmm. He had a special relationship with Jesus, and Jesus had a special relationship with him. Mm -hmm. Peter was the disciple that asked Jesus more questions than anybody else. Mm -hmm. Because he wanted to know. Peter was, 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 was making sure that he learned his craft. Mm -hmm. Amen. He'd always, Peter declared that he would never stumble serving Jesus. Okay now. Mm -hmm. Amen. He, he did. He, he, he said, oh, I'm not going to leave you. I, I, I'm not, I'm not. He, he declares this. Peter was the one, Peter was one of the disciples, what, that fell asleep when Jesus asked him to stay awake and pray. Mm -hmm. Come on, it was a lot of first freed up Peter, but he was what, always right with Jesus. Mm -hmm. He wasn't following behind, he was always right with Jesus. When Jesus was going, so Peter was there. Mm -hmm. If Jesus, Jesus would have to make him stay back so that he wouldn't be with him. Come on. Amen. That's, that's how Peter was. Peter and Jesus, I mean, he just, he wanted to be his beloved disciple. And even in this text, he asks him about John because Peter was jealous. Mm -hmm. Jesus had a relationship. You know, they refer to John as the disciple <laughs> that Jesus loved. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and when Jesus gets ready to descend back into heaven, Peter asked him a question, what about him? Jesus said, what's that to you? Mm -hmm. If I decide for him to stay here until I return, mm -hmm. 
That means if I go to heaven and come back and leave him. And John was what? The last disciple left mm -hmm. on the island of Patmos when he wrote the book of what? Revelations. Mm -hmm. Amen. Peter had a jealous spirit. He didn't want nobody else in that space mm -hmm. with Jesus but him. Mm -hmm. Amen. But he was a bold soldier on the battlefield for the Lord. Amen. He was. Peter also denied Jesus, what, three times as it was prophesied. Remember now, Peter was, no, oh Lord, uh-uh, uh-uh. Mm -hmm. But see, Peter thought more highly of himself than he ought to. Yeah. Like you ain't going to fall. I just want to tell somebody today, stop thinking that you ain't going to fall. That's right. You need to be praying, Lord, I don't want to do seven times. Mm -hmm. I sure don't want to do 70 times Lord. seven. Come on now. I, 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 you know, I know I'm going to fall, Jesus, but could you keep it to a limit? Come on. Amen. Come on. That's, that's, that's my prayer. Glory to God. Come on. Because I, I know that you're going to talk to me about it. And, and I know our conversations are between us. But you know what, Jesus? You can just keep them to a minimum. Come on, somebody. That, that's the kind of relationship that we want to have. Glory to God. So even though we are committed to our pursuit of Jesus, we will stumble. That's right. It's just in our nature. How many times only Jesus knows? Mm -hmm. Amen. But one thing we, we do know is that Jesus can what? Restore us. Yes, Back to the place that he has called us to be. I thank God that he's a restorer. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. I, I, thank, I thank God that, that he, he can fix whatever what is broken. I thank God that he, he knows me better than I know myself. Glory to God. I thank God that whatever is broken in my life, he can fix it. If I'm sick, he can heal me. Amen. If I'm lost, he'll find me. Come on, somebody. If, 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 I'm, if I'm weak, he can strengthen me. Glory to God. If, if I don't understand, he can bring it to my remembrance. Glory to God. If I'm struggling, glory to God. Jesus can straighten me out. Amen. Yes, he can. Now, 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 when Jesus started asking Peter these questions, Peter knew that Jesus knew the answer. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he answered him, what? Uh, yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lamb. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory to God. But you know what? When somebody asks you a question, mm -hmm. we always know the answer. Mm -hmm. Right. But we want to know what you say about the situation. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. Because we know the answer, but how are you interpreting it? See, this is the thing. Because when Jesus says, you know, Jesus equates love with what? Obedience. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 We, 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 we realize that way back in the book of Genesis. Amen. Glory to God. When he asked Abraham to sacrifice his son. Come on. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And so, but that's how Jesus, because Jesus says, if you love me, you'll keep my commands. Mm -hmm. If you love me, you'll do what I ask. See, mm -hmm. but we don't equate it. We equate love with other stuff. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on. I'm, I'm putting a roof over your head. I love you. Mm -hmm. I got food on. I'm putting food on the table. I love you. Mm -hmm. Come on. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, I'm here every day. I ain't running after folks. I'm, I love you. Mm -hmm. But you know, some people like to hear the words. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Instead of we always do. You know, there's a book that's called The Five Languages of Love. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Because everybody don't say I love you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Some folks just gonna show you. Some folks gonna act like they do, but they don't. Mm -hmm. Come on. And there's, there's different ways of how people interact with it. But Peter is saying, Lord, you know all I, how, how I done followed you and how I done ran with you and how the things we have shared, you know. But see, but Jesus equates love. Come on, y'all. I'm mm -hmm. trying to teach you today with obedience. Yeah. So we always want to talk about, oh, I love the Lord, don't mm -hmm. we? Jesus, oh, he, he know my heart. We even go all down through there. God knows my heart. But we won't do nothing he said. <laughs> so do you really love him? I just came by to ask you today. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because some of us need to be restored. That's right. Amen. Amen. We need to be restored back to that right place. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so here we see that Jesus asked Peter again. Simon, son of John, do you, do you love me? Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Take care of my sheep. And every time Jesus asked a question, 
he told him what to do. Mm -hmm. He gave him something to do. He didn't say, yeah, I know you love me. He didn't say that, did he? Mm -hmm. He gave him a command. Feed my lambs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feed my sheep. Mm -hmm. Come on. Amen. Third time, son, son of uh, Simon, son of John. Do you love me? Now Peter hurt. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus asked him the third time, do you love me? Mm -hmm. He said, Lord, you know all things. Mm -hmm. And now he, now you can tell he done got mad because now he started talking. That's just like us. When you ask somebody something that they think you know the answer to, they break bad on you. Mm -hmm. Why are you asking me that? Come on. Mm -hmm. All right. Come on. Mm -hmm. Amen. Why are you asking? Come on, all. We, we can laugh about that because we all been there and done that. Why are you asking me that? Amen. Here he's, you know all things. You know that I love you. Then he tells him, feed my sheep. Peter remembered the phrases Jesus used when he followed him about. He, Mark 6 and 34 says, when Jesus landed and he saw this large crowd, he had what compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he began to teach them many things. Sheep need to be taught. Mm -hmm. Sheep need to be nurtured. Sheep need to be cared for. We are the sheep of God. Mm -hmm. And we have what? Gone astray. Yes, we, we need to be trained. Mm -hmm. Nurtured. Come on. Cared for. Mm -hmm. Fed. And we said, feed my sheep. Feed them. Feed them on the word. Peter was called to the fivefold ministry as a preacher of the gospel. Glory to God. When a which is a leadership position. He led the church of Jerusalem in the early years. Mm -hmm. He was a charismatic preacher with boldness and vigor. Mm -hmm. Jesus called him and his brother the voices of thunder. Mm -hmm. Which means Peter could preach. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen, somebody. And he had the voice to do it. Jesus proclaimed that Peter was what the rock that he would build his church with. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. They did have this relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. They had a great relationship. But Jesus wanted to know what's happening, Peter. Mm -hmm. I told you what to do. I showed you what to do. You walked with me as I did. But why are you not moving? Come on. Why are you not doing what I call you to do? Peter was the type of preacher that was that people wanted to follow. Mm -hmm. But if you ain't out there, ain't nobody going to follow you. Come on. His, his charismatic uh, charisma attracted followers from everywhere. Jesus wanted Peter to continue in the office he had called him to to grow the kingdom. Amen, somebody. Amen. With, 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 with the question that Jesus asked Peter, it rocked his core and helped him to remember his calling. You know, sometimes God got to remember, make us remember what he's called us to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we'll, we'll, we'll pitch a tent and sit down in a minute. Am I right about it? Amen. Mm -hmm. we, we'll decide that we're not going to do nothing for nobody and take a, a hiatus. Amen. Folk make you mad, you go home. Have your pity party. Talk about how they done done you wrong. Amen. And Jesus tell you, now, all they did was hurt your feelings. They ain't beat you half to death. Amen. They didn't make you carry no cross. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Amen. Amen. They didn't spit in your face. Mm -hmm. Come on. Amen. Amen. They didn't ridicule you and, and snatch all your clothes off. Come on. Amen. 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 And you up here mad just because they said a few words? Mm -hmm. And you got the power to rebuke that? Mm -hmm. And you 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 at the house six months? Come on, I'm talking to somebody. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> six months, I'm like, I ain't going to preach to nobody's <laughs> pulpit. They, they can miss me. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. And God's sitting here going, you know, I call you to preach. Mm -hmm. That's right. Call you as an evangelist. When you're going to get out here and do what I call you to do. Amen. 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 See, we'll let people determine what we want to do, and we just, you know, we won't follow God. Amen. You know, we can't, it's not about following just because it's a sunny day and it feels good outside. Yeah. Amen. You might, you're going to have to walk through some rainy days. Come on, somebody, we get some mud on your feet. Mm -hmm. Come on. Your clothes might get wet. Your hair do a lot of slick to your head. Come on. Hallelujah. 
Come on. These are the kind of days that Jesus is telling us about that we going to still have to do the work when it ain't when it when we don't want to work. Amen. Amen, somebody. And so here he's telling Peter, Amen. Now although Jesus did say stay in Jerusalem, he didn't say stay in the house and don't do nothing while you're in Jerusalem mm -hmm. till I come. Come on. Peter should have been out there preaching in the synagogue. Peter, Peter should have been preaching on the riverside. Peter should have been preaching wherever he could, but staying where? In Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Not sitting up in the house. Is that, is that, is that what somebody else is doing? I know I'm preaching to somebody. Mm -hmm. Sitting in the house. Now nah, we're running from COVID. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and I'm up here telling everybody on Sunday that God is a healer. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. But we hide now from COVID. That's right. Mm -hmm. Some of you so scared you won't even take your shot. Mm -hmm. Come on. Amen. 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 Now, how is that? How is that telling God how much we love Him? How is what we're doing showing God that we trust Him? How is that, you know, demonstrating our obedience to God? Mm -hmm. Come on now. You can't say, okay. I'm, I'm gonna let the I, I trust I trust the medical profession to uh, to uh, uh, you know operate on me for cancer, but I don't trust them to give me a shot for COVID. Mm -hmm. I, I mean I, I'm just trying to figure it out. How does this work? How do we figure this? Because if God is the author and the finisher of our faith, don't you know that when the snake wrapped his hand around Paul and bit him, and it was poisonous. He didn't die nor get sick. Everybody gathered around trying to see how Paul was going to swell up and die. Mm -hmm. Come on. And when he didn't die, they said he must be a God. Then everybody in the village come out to be healed. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to bring some things to our remembrance because we can't say on one hand that I love the Lord and we don't Lord. do what he say on the other. Come Amen. on, y'all. Come on, get some strength. And some, come on, and some order to from, from somewhere and trust God. And so what if you get an ache and a pain after you get the shot? Mm -hmm. Come on. And people say, you know the shot ain't going to last but a year. I said, okay, so if I have to take another one next year, y'all been taking flu shots for 20 years and get the flu every year. Come on. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I said, so if I got to take another shot next year, glory to God, I'm going to be all right. If it's going to keep this off of me. Because over 500,000 people have died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Ain't here no more. They wanted to be here. They'd have took that shot if they'd have had an opportunity to get to the, get to the place and get it. Mm -hmm. All the nations of the earth now rejoice. All the nations of the earth now rejoice. All the people of God sing his praise. All the people of God sing his praise. Everything that had breath shout for joy. Everything that had breath shout for joy. Everything that is beautiful.